I'm Noel. I'm Christian. <laughs> and I'm Nicole. And, and we're, we're the Lagos. Welcome to our family channel. Yeah! Woohoo! We finally did it. It's finally. been like two, three years since we wanted to start a family channel, and I think we're finally doing it, guys. We're here. So. Today we're just gonna be doing a QA about just on our first video to do a little introduction, meet the Lanos, get to know us better. Yeah, and then after that we'll just be doing fun challenges and you guys can request what videos you guys want to see. I want to do travel vlogs too. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do, babe? Uh, maybe pranks. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm down with Let's the prank do that. Yeah, that would be fun. Like parents versus kids. You know yeah. what I told Christian though? It's kind what? of like having our own podcast. So you're in my head again because I already told Christian you said that that's, that's what I wanted to do. Ah. And he's like been looking for microphones and oh. like other gear yeah. that we could do. Yeah. But I think we should get into the Q&A. By the way, we have a special guest over there too. Sadie's. Yeah. Sadie's Sweet Sadie. Sadie Lino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best Lino of them all. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, question number one. What are your favorite things to do together and what are the best ways to grow closer with your family? Mm. Mm. Go I'm gonna say food festivals for recently. Mm. Recently we've been going to food festivals. I love live music. My entire family loves live music. We yeah. all love good food. Just eating bands. Yeah, the lands love to eat. Yeah. So wherever yeah. there's good food, that's probably where we're at. I agree, son. I love a good food festival with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, like being outdoors and just eating. Eating yeah. some snails. Yeah. Yeah. Feet. <laughs> just not in hot weather though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I think to grow together as a family. Family, just prioritizing time even with our busy schedules right. we always um, make time for, each make time for each other. yeah like there's always oh. something on the schedule like every week mm -hmm. so that we can like look forward to yeah. how about you babe what's your favorite my favorite yeah just eating I love to eat <laughs> <laughs> I okay. work out to eat so I work out. <laughs> I don't get big it's all good <laughs> what has been your favorite family vacation you guys have gone on oh I don't mind. Mm -hmm. Me too. Well, I think mine's the Philippines. Me too. So, yeah. If you guys watch the family that? vlogs on my channel, Philippines really was. Yeah, it was a yeah. good one. I was gonna say Cabo, but Philippines was like it was like hard one. Yeah. Yeah. Cabo yeah. was like Philippines was like really like convincing. Something. Yeah. Yeah. It's just because there's so much family and love there. Exactly. Yeah. For new yeah. viewers, my dad's Filipino, mom is Vietnamese. We're half half. We still have yet to go to Vietnam, but yeah, we've been to the so Philippines. Yeah, yeah. that's a great trip. I think we're gonna try to go next year. Number three. How do you guys maintain a healthy and trusting family dynamic? Well, very well said. <laughs> So, you know, just spending time together and um, talking yeah. and um, yeah. just being together as, as a family. And also, I think trust goes both ways. Me and Christian tell mom and dad everything and likewise, like if we have a problem, big or small, we go to them and we know that we can always talk to each other about anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just to piggyback off of that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that. <laughs> <laughs> it, that's true though. It's like, I think we communicate even when it's hard. We can talk about uncomfortable things even if we're at fault. Mm -hmm. And that's okay. Sure. You know, as long as we're, we're trying to be better. And yeah, and keep yeah. each other in check. Yes. Yeah, it's okay yes. to be wrong. Right. Yeah. And I'm always right. <laughs> like once a year. <laughs> How are your parents so chill? They're always so supportive and let you do anything you want. So yeah. chill. Chill and supportive. I think two different things, but both definitely mom and dad have. What? Uh -huh. Like chill, mom and dad let us go out, let us, oh, yeah, like yeah. we have a lot of freedom. Oh, yeah. Like Nicole was saying, we just have, like our parents have a lot of trust in us because we tell them what we do when we're going out. Right. We make sure to listen to them because they've gone through it before. And chill supportive. And supportive. Supportive. They've always just been supportive. So yeah. Especially. Whether it's whether it's your dance, whether it's been music for mm -hmm. me, I think we just always know that we've just been built upon the concept of like we're a family. It's a team. It's us against the world when yeah. it comes down to it. <coughs> Boom. Well, well said. Really good. Good. Well well said. Oh <laughs> I don't have anything else to say. Yeah, that was that. Good. okay. Next question. Uh, uh, Mom and Dad, what is the scariest thing about watching Nicole and Christian grow up as people? Mm. The scariest, probably driving. Really? They've been yeah. driving for years. No, no, I, I don't know. For some reason, I always worry about that. So, uh, oh, um, yeah, when they're out there. Yeah, that's know. fair. That yeah. is fair. Yeah. What was the question again? Like, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> what were you answering? What did you guys say? <laughs> that's it's a good like, point. What's the thing about us growing up? I want to say that, like, because I went through something last year where I thought you guys were growing up and then, like, you guys were leaving me and I would, like, cry every day. Mm -hmm. But then, <laughs> but we're not even, like, I know, but then I realized that, like, 
I still have time with you guys and we've actually been having so much fun. And so I think like scary thing is having less quality time. Yeah, okay, so I'm, I'm just scared that I have like less time. Like less time. But that's just a reminder yeah. to like really cherish the moment and like don't take it for granted because right. we are here right now. So like we should be grateful. Yeah. Not that I'm, not, I'm, no, I'm no. not leaving like tomorrow. No, but that's but just like in general, tomorrow's never promised, right? Yeah. Like, just with anyone. Yeah, that's so true. it's like just live, people live and love. Well, I think because yeah. they're getting older too and then now it's like, you know, when you get older, you get more like on your own. Yeah. So that's, that's why schedule much. schedule your time with your kids. Right. Because everyone yeah. gets busy. So that's right. Christian, this is for us. What are your guys' thoughts about pursuing dreams and handling education together? I think <coughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think for both of us, school has always been a really big priority, one of the top ones, you know? Yeah. They're really smart kids, by the way. Both of them, the same. <laughs> but then at the same time, again, like with our parents being supportive, like they want to let us do what we love. And for Christian, that's music, for me, that's dance and vlogging and YouTube, whatever. Mm -hmm. So just making sure to balance like doing your homework on time and submitting assignments, but also giving time towards your hobbies and like what you love. I think it's a little bit of a more fortunate situation for me just because my education is me pursuing my dreams because okay. I'm going to school yeah. for music and such. Mm -hmm. um, but for even the situations where it's like where I want to do something else or in other people's situations where they're studying something that you know their dreams differ from what they're studying right. um, it's all about just the time you make for it I, th yeah. I think that if you really want to make the time to go to the gym after school pursue your dream of bodybuilding or whatever mm -hmm. you're gonna make the time for it but it's yeah. just uh, it's hard the older you get the less time you have mm -hmm. when you're in school especially so I guess just time management yeah you, you know it's still a dream actually yeah, that's why it's fortunate for me because my education is pursuing Towards my dreams. Yeah. Yeah. Accounting wasn't my dream. <laughs> <laughs> so he made he made the time to break dance whenever yeah. he was. Yeah. But now he's an accountant. Dream big though. I'd love to know each of the family members' favorite music artists. Well, it's old school and ludicrous. And, Just one thing. Uh, Luda. I thought you were going to say T-Pain. T-Pain, yes. Yeah, that's a big one. <laughs> Yeah, just, just give us your list. Yeah. 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 Genuine? No. <laughs> no. What's your mom's favorite? Uh, uh, wish. Wish. What about your favorite artist? My favorite artist? Just one? Mm -hmm. I don't you know. You have two, I had two. Well, that threw out four. Beyonce, Usher. Beyonce. Yeah. I've recently been listening to Polyphia. It's a rock band and they're very evolutionary with their sound. Um, I've right on. thoroughly been enjoying <laughs> their music. <laughs> right on. To the people. I don't really know. Cause, cause me and Nicole kind of go through phases. And yeah. I mean, like at one point she was in love with Doja. Oh. At one point she was in love with Ari, Bruno, whatever. Dude, yeah. Bruno's, oh good. Yeah. Bruno's a strong he one, though. Him. Yeah, I mean, it's just like whatever genre I'm into. So it's like either pop, RB, hip hop, rap. How did you think of Sadie's name? That was you. It was. Oh. Actually, it was like my sister's ex boyfriend's oh. dog's name. I didn't know oh. that. And so I was like, oh my god, that's such a cute name. <laughs> we had her, and I was like, I'm just going to take it. We call her Saderson as a Saderson Lano. Sticky Bears. Oh my so goodness, what if we made a card it was Ace of Sades? <laughs> That's and so cute. And then cute. it's like, it's Sadie. Dude, the... that could be merch on a shirt. Like Ace, Ace of Sades. Sades. Yo! How long has Christian been playing instruments and what instruments does he play? Uh, the first exposure to music I had was Rock Band. It was an electronic rhythm based video game that four my years parents old, got me. Right? Yeah, you should put the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At four yeah, years we old, put in a clip. I was able to play all the drumming songs at Experts so that my parents would need drum lessons, piano lessons to follow. Had two years of piano lessons when I was younger. Since then, it's been about six years of self-taught with the piano. Eight right. years cumulatively. Wow. Uh, the guitar comes on and off, but more recently, I've been focusing on it. I'd say maybe two or three years on the guitar. With drums, that's been all my life. Yeah, and he did marching yeah. band. He was um, a snare for high school. Yeah. yeah, it's just like in him. I know. Music's <laughs> just been prominent in my life for all of Remember? Yeah. I don't think there's a day that goes by that he doesn't play an instrument. He just takes over. It's a, it's, his body. I, ha I have a very big dependence on musical instruments. <laughs> Whenever we go on vacation and there's no music there, I'm like, I, I go home and I'm like, I need to play the piano. Yeah. Well, you play beautifully, son. Thank you. I try. 
this question. Um, <clears throat> favorite childhood memories. So when oh, we were kids, we're going to use the same clip again. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we should now. You should, you should save that on your computer. It's the dancing video when, like, it was in Christian's room. We I just pulled a camera and we just started dancing. We call it Toot because I, like, roll my eyes at him. Action! Hi, everybody. My name is Nicole and I'm going to do Sarah. And I'm Christian. <laughs> now we'll do doing the dance together. Ready? One sec. Cool. Mm -hmm. Now starting your one, two, three. Let's go. Cut. <clears throat> My favorite is when each night we would have like a camp out in our room. So we would either like spread blankets on the floor and everyone would sleep in the same room and on we'd the tell floor. jokes. Yeah, and then we'd put a chair like in the middle of the room and each person would sit on the chair and then tell a story or a joke. We would just like hang, hang out. out. Mm -hmm. Remember like, Nicole's joke? Yeah. Why did the kid cross the road? Because it had mud. <laughs> <laughs> no, it makes no sense. No sense. Everything was laugh every time. Everything was like. Yeah, mud. Yeah, chicken crossing. Why the other cow crossing? Yeah, mud. Yeah. And they would laugh every time, so I'd tell it all the time. Nicole, do you remember we were out with mom? I forgot what we did, but we did something fun. And then we're <laughs> we're on a car ride back, and we're sleeping. We think we're going home. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, mom turns towards boomers. And she's like, oh. we're going to Boomer. Oh. And then we spend an additional two hours. At Boomer? Just, yeah. mom's like, oh, you want to play arcade? You want to do mini golf oh. and do whatever? Yeah, I would just surprise them. Oh, I would yeah. just like drive up to places. Oh. Yeah, we had a blast. How about you, babe? What was your favorite? What was my favorite? Like uh, memory of them. Yeah. I don't know, just dancing. We had that hallway in the oh, yeah. house. Oh, and we, we, we played music on that computer. We played music in that. Yeah, there was a oh, computer on the hallway. Like, I love you. And then we just dancing. Or like whenever we would go to the PS3 and just scroll through memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, good times, guys. How does everyone feel about Nicole graduating next year? Oh, man. I mean, I know I'm going to cry. I always cry. I'm going to cry. Yeah. When Christian graduated, I cried the whole time. Yeah, she did. Oh, she did. I was crying too. I was crying time. Yeah, I like yeah. didn't stop. Nicole, I think I'll cry the same. And y'all know I'm gonna vlog my graduation. Like I'm gonna walk with my camera. It is crazy though. Yeah. It's just like you're growing up so fast. Yeah. It's it's interesting for me, Nicole, because we always realize how old we're getting, but at the same time, Nicole and I have just always been used to growing up together. Together, yeah. So we just don't notice like, like oh, you're twenty. Yeah, you're he's 20, twenty. I'm turning eighteen. Yeah. And he's like, when did we get this old? Yeah. It's like yeah. it's like you're getting really old, but at the same time, like. That means old. you're old. Exactly. <laughs> because he's older. Yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> Same. Same. That's a gray hair. A lot, honey. Some. <laughs> <laughs> so I get a trick all the time. I like your gray hair. Oh. He's like Noel Clooney. No. <laughs> they probably even know who that is. Yeah, I actually don't. Okay, what's everyone's favorite food? Vietnamese food. Well, it can be like a fish. <laughs> a fish. All Vietnamese food. I love pho, spring rolls, fun sale, fun bail. Yeah. <laughs> like all like all the time. Sometimes I don't like it. What about it? Just spitting it out. <laughs> yeah, Filipino food. <laughs> That's Just not what you told me. <laughs> what are you talking about? I told you, sometimes I don't like Vietnamese food. No, he tells me his favorite is Vietnamese food. He's just saying that. Okay, y'all can uh, flirt no. later. Me and Christian <laughs> will answer. <laughs> okay, shh, shh, you two. Sometimes what, I don't what's like What's your favorite food, Christian? <laughs> I like it, I like it. Ooh, That's your Filipino favorite? Food. I just like any kind of noodle. Whether it's pho, mm -hmm. ramen. Bonset. Let's Bonset. go pho. <laughs> pho. There's like a war. It's so cute, yeah. yeah. But any Asian food, honestly, just like any Asian mm. food. Mom, this is for you. Okay. What made you be a stay-at-home mom, and were there any hardships for us that we went through growing up? Yes. Um, I think because like my mom, because she had five kids, she came here from Vietnam, so she had to work like all the time. Mm -hmm. So she wasn't able to physically be there for me all the time because she had to work. She had 12 hour days, even more sometimes. So I just knew that I wanted her to be around more. So when I had kids, I was like, oh gosh, I'm going to be around so much. You guys aren't even going to know how that feels. Yeah. I stayed at home while dad worked for, gosh, I don't even know how long. And we just had a budget, but we were so happy. Yeah. I would go to the store and buy like $10 
remember the chicken and it would last for like two weeks. Yeah, yeah, it, would yeah. Just, it wouldn't matter because I was home with you guys. Right, we were just but like, happy. Me and Nicole just never noticed it growing yeah. up. Right. We were just so happy that we had mom there all the time. And yeah. You know, our quality of life was, you know, I had nothing to complain about. Yeah, super yeah. involved. Like she would Still be at our school <laughs> and all of that. And then like when dad would come home, that's when we would like hang out at the house. And you know, so like yeah. it was just family quality time. Yeah. How did everyone feel when Nicole first started sharing her face on the internet? How do you guys feel now? We started when she was like nine or 10 and she actually was a dancer, a professional dancer first. So mm. she already had some camera time that we were used to. But then when she first started vlogging when she was about 12, that, that was, was a little, a little odd. Yeah. <laughs> because she would be in her room and just talking to herself. And the crazy thing is she would just like be herself. It wasn't like, hey guys, what's up, what's up? Like she wouldn't like put up, you know, you know what I mean? Extra spunky. Spunky? Who uses spunky dad? That's a new one. <laughs> So I was like, oh gosh, it's kind of like weird. She's just kind of talking and being normal. Then we just got used to it. And even when we go out now, it's just something she does and we're not uncomfortable at all. Like, now, and now, now we're all doing it. It's a family thing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I love it. I'm so proud of you. And she used to be like super, super shy. Yeah. She kind of still is, not as much, but I feel as though vlogging for her gave her a lot of confidence that she never even knew she had. So sure. it's like, I'm grateful for her. Yes, yeah. whatever this is. Whatever. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it was weird at first. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> 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 Who does that? I was like 12 too. I was what in like 6th grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You need to get some more. <laughs> Dad! By now we're definitely used to it, uh -huh. but I would say like when you first started, I don't think I ever thought it was weird because her and I used to make like just have, for fun, set up a camera and make yeah. YouTube videos. Oh, that's so true. Always yeah. Yeah. And not only that, but I, at the time I was making silly little Minecraft videos too yeah. because I was actually the first YouTuber for <laughs> them. He likes to say <laughs> what? He likes to say <laughs> No, but he did. He's so like, yeah, no, it's true. I'm just saying. I was excited yeah. about it because, uh, you know, it, when at, at, uh, at the time that. <laughs> <laughs> so. Ew. Hey, 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 quiet. What the heck? Dude, what was that laugh? <laughs> I think it was cool for me at the time because I was like, I wanted to buy a camera and Nicole and the camera started vlogging. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, by now it's just, it's, it's something that we're all used to. It's part of our life. You bought like a big camera? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's on I know, I think it's really we old they are. The first camera that Nicole and I bought, we shared mm -hmm. because Nicole would use it for, that was, that was what you filmed crawfish, the very first crawfish yeah. festival vlog mm -hmm. on. Oh, nice. And then I filmed my uh, school trip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and last question. Ooh. What's everyone's favorite noodle in the ramen cabinet? Oh. <laughs> oh, uh, gin ramen spicy. Yeah? Really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was sucks. very judgmental, Dad. <laughs> yeah, sorry. He went, really? <laughs> okay, what's yours? Oh, just a cup of noodles. I knew he was going to say that. I yeah. knew he was going to say like, that. It's simple. Wow. <laughs> wow. Really? What flavor? What? Shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> I like shrimp. <laughs> You're so weird. Okay, sorry. Definitely Shin Ramen for me uh -huh. with Japanese cute mayo. Mm, oh. Yeah, this guy does it right. A yeah. fried egg on top, maybe mm. too, maybe yeah, three. You're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine needs some chiban. Or ramen noodles. They're both like comfort mm, foods. Inside that's has sick, like everyone has their own. Oh, yeah, there's them all. even more. There's yeah. more. Shout out to noodle soup again. Yeah. And those are all the questions. Stay tuned for more family vlogs from us. I think next week we're going to do a challenge. So yeah, let us um, know if you want to yeah. see anything. We're going to try to post on Sundays, but we'll keep you guys up. updated. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any ideas for pranks we can pull on dad, just let us know. You can DM the comments. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe to join the Lego family. And come back every Sunday at Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they know us a little bit more now? I think so. I think they know a lot of us. <laughs>